hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome as well in today's video we are going to be learning how to make this magzi three tier gown if this is something you love to watch please watch this video to the end so from the chest um from the shoulder line to the bust line and from the bust line to the waist line all right so the waist measurement i'm using that is the half length i'm using is 16 and half inches and the shoulder to shoulder measurement is seven inches and then my shoulder line which is also my chest line is seven inches so right here this gown is going to be a free gown and i'm going to be using the biggest part of my of the body measurements which is eight and a half so the eight and a half is what i'll be using for the waist as well so right now i'm just going to be marking eight and a half plus half an inch for ease and then one inch for sewing allowance okay i'm going to add it to the bust line over there and i'm also going to take the same marking at the waistline now if you don't want yours to be very free at the waistline you can just maintain your waist measurement plus ease and then one inch for sewing allowance so i'll go ahead now and connect the mark together so once i'm done this is what i'm going to have right here i'm cutting the back first okay and this particular gown is going to have zipper allowance this is because the neck is going to be very small but if you don't want zipper allowance to yours then you might want to make your own neck a little bit wider than mine because for the back neck i'm using wideness of three inches and the depth of one inch okay so i'm going to be marking the front um okay so right here is where the zipper is going to stop so the zipper is going to be stopping about six inches from the back neck okay that's where the zipper is going to stop there is no need for the zipper extending to the waist area since it's going to be a free dress you can equally add button to yours if you don't want to add zipper you are equally on the right track so i'll go ahead now and cut this out i left half an inch at the shoulder area for joining so right now is my um is the back so i'll go ahead and mark out the front neck so for the front neck i'm using three and a half inches for the depth of the front neck but the wideness of the neck is still three inches so but i'm not going to be cutting the front neck yet i'm only going to be marking out the front neck so i'm going to use this pattern to cut out the back first then after i'm done cutting the back i'll go ahead and then cut out the neck so i've gone ahead to mark the front neck so i'm just going to open back the zipper allowance and then use it to cut the front the back so right now i've used the pattern to cut the back this is what i have after cutting the back so i'm just going to set it aside so right now i will cut up the zipper allowance so that i can use this pattern to cut out the front so i'll also go ahead and cut out the neck for the front so after that this is what i have for the front all right so what i'm going to do now is for the style of this gown there's going to be a gathers at the neck area so we are going to be doing a slash and spread so i'm going to be marking three and a half inches around here which is uh three and a half inches is the dart measurement for the person um working with for the measurement of this person and at the neck area i will just come out by half an inch okay i'm going to be marking half an inch here so the next thing is to connect the half an inch to the three and a half inches i mark out or just use your half of your nipple to nipple measurement down there so i use three and a half for mine so i'll go ahead now and cut this out now when i'm cutting i'm not going to cut the whole of the paper out I'm just going to be leaving about half an inch down below so that it's easy for me to spread this on the fabric. So I'll be spreading directly on the fabric. So I'm just using my paint to paint down the pattern paper. And then after spreading, I'm just going to measure how many inches I want. Two and a half inches is okay. And I'm also pinning this other side down. 
so i'll just go ahead now and cut this out you can see that this is very very simple to make so this is what it looks like after cutting it out you can see remember your fabric is going to be on fold when you are spreading this okay follow this step and make sure your fabric the front fab uh, the front the front fabric is on fold all right so just measure what you have around the neck on the pattern so this will help you to know how much you need to gather on the neck of the front um on the front pattern okay you need to measure the actual neck on the pattern paper so that by the time you gather the excesses you have there you'll be sure of the allowance you have left at the neck so i'm just going to cut out the sleeve right now the length of the sleeve is 23 inches but right now i'm going to be um, cutting about 19 inches and then i'm just coming down by three and a half to get the calf sleeve and then i'll curve it to this place and then you measure to make sure that you have enough length for your um for your ham hole so right now after marking 19 inches the remaining length of the fabric which is about five inches i'm going to replace it with a band so i'll just go ahead now and connect the sleeve together so as you can see i have 19 inches so the next thing is to replace the remaining length by the band so i'm going to use the band to replace the remaining length so now we are going to be cutting the lower part of the blouse of the of the gown so remember that the gown is a three-step gown so the first step is going to be your waist multiplied by two that is the first gather that you are going to gather at the waist it's going to be your waist multiplied by two the second step your waist multiplied by three and the third step your waist multiplied by four you can equally add 0.5 to each of these measurements you can make it waist multiplied by 2.5 or waist multiplied by 3.5 or waist multiplied by 4.5 this this will make your gathers fuller okay so to now get the length all you need to do is minus your length from the half length so whatever you have left is going to be the length of the gathers you are going to have down there so all you now need to do is to divide the remaining length divided by the number of steps you are going to have so the remaining length i have for mine is 40 and the number of step is three inches so 40 divided by three whatever you have is going to be the length of each of the gathers or each of the steps and you can decide to make one of the three shorter and remaining two the same length it totally depends on what you want okay so what i'm going to do now is to go and cut all of this on my fabric okay so i'll come back and show you guys what it looks like so whatever the length of each step is you are going to be adding 1.5 for folding and joining allowance all right guys so i've gone ahead to stitch this um the neck area okay i've gone ahead to gather the neck area at the front because that's the first thing i'm going to be doing and after doing that okay i'm i went ahead to also join the shoulder together the front and back shoulder together okay so the next thing i did was to pipe the neck area using the same fabric okay i went ahead to pipe the neck area using the same fabric you can see the front and back so after that the next thing i did was to insert the zipper you can see the zipper like i said if you don't want yours to have zipper you can ignore the zipper allowance and the zipper i attached so after that the next thing i did was to also attach my sleeve to the armhole area okay you can see the band i've also replaced the band to the sleeve as well so after attaching this to the armhole area i went ahead to stitch the sleeve from the sleeve down to the half length okay you'll be stitching from the sleeve down to the half length i have here so right now 
I'm going to turn this to the right side so that I can okay so at the back here I closed the remaining part of the zipper allowance so I left about one inch opening here which I'm going to also use to join the gathers I made around you can as well close this one inch allowance if you want and then you just sew the flare all around here so this what I did here is optional okay so I'm just going to turn this to the right side of of this so guys this is what I have you can see how neat this is looking you can see how beautiful it is so if you don't want to add zipper to yours you can ignore it you can see what the gathers at the at the front neck looks like and this is also what the sleeve is going to look like okay so the next thing is to show you guys what i did on the gathers all right so i've gone ahead to stitch the gathers together so this part here is the, so this part here is the part that will be going inside the waist of the half length that i've sewn as you can see it will be you'll be sewing it around the half length just like i have here so the first the upper part of the first step you are going to gather it and sew it to the waist why the lower parts you are not going to gather the lower parts okay you're going to leave the lower part straight now after you've left the lower part straight you are going to use the lower part of the first step to gather the first the upper part of the second step okay you will gather the upper part of the second step using the lower part of the first step as the measurement and make sure you are folding the allowance before you gather and also before you stitch it down to the second to the first step now the lower part of the second step you are also going to leave it free you are not going to gather it you also use the measurement of the lower part of the second step to gather the upper part of the third step okay so you are also going to fold in the allowance at the upper part of the third step and then you gather it and sew it on the lower part of the second step then you go ahead and stitch in the folding allowance then you close up the opening you are going to have at the center okay now this is the opening i also left at the at the half length so i'm going to be stitching them all around and once i'm done stitching it up i'll go ahead and close up the opening i'm going to have around there so you can see this is very very simple to make this is a simple gown and it's very very lovely so right now if you don't want to fold yours okay this design i have here if you don't want to fold yours you can go ahead and use your weaving machine to weave it so once you are done weaving it then you go ahead and gather it if you don't want to gather it you can just fold in fold it the way i did mine okay and after that you run your gathered stitch then you start gathering it and then sew it on each steps of this fabric so this is all i have for this fabric i'll just go ahead now and stitch the half length to this flayed now so once i'm done stitching it together i'm going to measure the full length and then sew the hemming allowance so guys this is all about this gown you can see the gathers at the neck and i hope you enjoyed this video to the end please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like and share this video and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye